legendaries, this is Sarah from sarahheart.ca. I help entrepreneurs become absolute legends online. And this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to set up a PayPal button on your website. So you wanna make sure that you're logged into your PayPal. Um, it's important to have a PayPal business account. So if you just have a personal account or you're not sure, you're gonna to wanna to upgrade. Then you're gonna to wanna to go into tools and all tools. Then you click PayPal buttons and create a button. Then we're going to use a buy now button and we're going to give it a name. Um, this doesn't show up anywhere, so you can really name it whatever you want. This will just show up on like the invoice, automatic invoice email. So I'm just going to call it example. And then you set your price and your currency. And pretty much everything else I don't touch. I save the PayPal button so I can maybe duplicate it later. Um, I don't need to track inventory or anything like that. Um, pretty much you can ignore all this stuff. Um, and then one thing that I do change is um, I don't need the shipping address for my customers. Um, and then they have take customers to the, this URL when they cancel their checkout take this customers to URL when they finish. And I just use, I usually do the finish because I'd like to create a thank you page saying, hey, thanks for signing up. I'll be in touch with you shortly to give you all your information. So this is might be something you want to paste, but it's not necessary. So then you're ready to go. Now you want to click on this tab that says email and you have your link. So I'm going to go back in my website. I'm going to go and a new page so this will be your sales page where you're selling some sort of offer I'll just call it example page and then um, it depends on what theme you have so if you're using a, um, a theme that already has pre created buttons uh, for example Divi theme has that and also some blue chic themes you can use their buttons and let me actually show you exactly how to do that using Divi theme and then I'll show you the other options. So if you're using Divi theme or another theme, you'll have some sort of option to add a button here. So in Divi theme, it says call to action. And I'm just going to give it a title and this is where we're going to paste that URL for PayPal. So that's where that's going to go right in here. And then you're ready to go once you style it. Or if you're not using um, you're not using Divi theme or a theme that has kind of these pre-made buttons, um, you can add an image as a button. So I'm just going to add media. Maybe I created a button for my website. So let me just look up a button here. So here's a button that says, yes, I'm so in. And then on the side here, you can just go to custom URL and paste that in. Insert into the page. If you missed that step, it's okay, because you can just go up here and click this insert edit link, and you can change it up here. And then you're ready to go, and that's going to take you to the buy now page so you can see you click the button and um, you can see now I can purchase it with my PayPal account. I hope you like this video. If you did, I have this great resource kit for you with a hundred tools to create your legendary brand. You can grab it right over here. All right, I'll see you guys later. Bye.